Guess what time it is? <laughs> the children like to come up for our children's moment. Morning. Hi, All right. Well, <laughs> by golly, I have a hammer. What do you use a hammer for? What, what are you a hammer for? Nails. Destruction. Well, you can. <laughs> Note to self keep the hammer away from Robert. Ryan. You, you can build a ship, right? All right, what else can you build a, use a hammer for? Um, <gasps> You're right. You can drive that stake and put a tent up. What else can you use a hammer for? <gasps> You're right. You can use a chisel and you can sculpt something. Very good. What else can you use a hammer for? Anything else? To smash. To smash. Yeah. I can't. You're right. You can you can smash things. Anything else? What? You can build stuff. Now, what is this? Anybody? A screwdriver. All right. What do you use a screwdriver for? To screw stuff up. Of course. Ryan? You can. All right. What do you use a screw for? A screwdriver for? You can chisel with it. You can. Just don't use your dad's nice uh, screwdriver to use as a chisel. I might have done that once or twice as a kid and got in trouble. What else can you use a, use a screwdriver for? Your dad doesn't have any screwdrivers? Oh, he, like, doesn't, he doesn't use them much. Okay, all right. Well, so how nice, nice silent hands. How many of you can use a hammer or have ever used a hammer? Okay, all right. Put your hands down. How many of you have ever used a screwdriver? All right. Who taught you how to use a hammer or a screwdriver? All right, who taught you how to use a hammer or a screwdriver? Dad. Your dad. All right, who, who taught you how to use a hammer or a screwdriver? Dad. Your dad. Who taught you how to use a hammer or a screwdriver? Myself. Yourself, you just self-taught. All right, yep, yep. All right, who taught you, Ryan? Your grandpa taught you. Hey, all right, so we're spread. Robert, who taught you how to use it? Your dad? Your mom and dad, nobody teach how to use one. So my dad taught me how to do this. Now, this is going to blow your mind. Do you think Jesus knew how to use a hammer and a screwdriver? What do you think, Ryan? <gasps> You're right. What do you think? Do you think Jesus knew how to use a hammer? Very good. All right. Good job. We all knew that. All right. Very good. Yeah, they used hammers. And the Bible tells us that Jesus did the same job that his dad, Joseph, did. And do you know what job did Joseph have? Ryan? The baby said Jesus. <laughs> all right. When he wasn't babysitting Jesus, because Mary needed a break. <laughs> what? 
What job did Joseph have outside of babysitting Jesus? Yeah. Do you know? What did Joseph do? Well, he took take care of Jesus. He was a carpenter. He built things out of wood. He would have built things like this or like, well, the furniture. He would have built all kinds of things. And Jesus was a carpenter too. And Jesus was taught how to use a hammer and their equivalent of a screwdriver by Joseph. Jesus had to learn how to do things just like you and I have to learn how to do things. And so it's okay that we don't know how to do things and it's okay that somebody needs to teach us because that's the only way we're going to learn. So just remember that as you're getting older and you're learning things, that it's okay not to know everything, and it's okay to ask for help, okay? Because Jesus had to do the same thing. Yes, Ryan? Was Jesus a lumberjack? Oh, he wasn't a lumberjack. It already came cut. <laughs> he was a carpenter. But now I have a, a mental picture I'm never going to get out of my head. All right, let's pray. Lord, just like Jesus had to be taught how to use a hammer and a screwdriver, we too have to be taught things because we don't know everything. Remind us, Lord, that it's okay to ask for help. And it's okay that we don't know everything because we're, well, we're only human. So, Lord... Uh, help us not to feel bad uh, about uh, uh, not knowing. Uh, help us to ask for help. And Lord, when we know how to do something that somebody else doesn't, help us to show others so they may learn too. Thank you for the example of Jesus who taught us what it means to be a child of yours. It is in his name that we humbly pray. Amen. All right, you guys can head off to uh, Junior Church.